So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you using the Kerberos uh, SSL extension um, deployed to my Mac device here um, and using uh, Intu. So my, my device here is enrolled. This is um, company portal. Um, and so I'm enrolled in uh, Intune. Um, we can see the device here. It's marked as compliant <coughs> and everything there. Um, we can uh, check the status and everything. We can go up and, uh, and follow up. Um, and uh, if we come over to configuration profiles, um, I've got a, a Kerberos SSO configuration profile deployed. Um, and what this says is uh, it's applied to all users, all devices, and the single sign-on extension says uh, the domain is welshgeek.net or the realm is welshgeek.net. Um, the authentication domains, things that we will send Kerberos tickets for, um, or when they request it, we will respond for. Auto login to Microsoft is your ADSSO.com and my internal WelshGeek.net. We set it as a default realm. We allow the standard tokens, uh, utilities, and everything. And we say that the, the app bundles, the, the applications that are running on my Mac that can participate, they can go off and uh, request tickets, are com.zscaler. Uh, com.apple. and com.microsoft. So all Zscaler, all Apple, and all Microsoft applications running on the machine can go off and get Kerberos tickets. Uh, I haven't done anything with um, SCEP and TK in it. Um, I actually want the user to log in, but we could push um, SCEP certificates down and, and totally avoid the, the user interaction. Um, so we see here in the uh, in the taskbar, uh, we've got our uh, Kerberos um, key here, so I can click sign in, um, and it's going to follow that process. Oh, before I do that, let me just show you. Um, that's not um, we're not AD joined. Uh, we're not. This machine is a standalone workstation, um, and this profile um, is installed. Here is my uh, MDM profile uh, managed by uh, Intune, and this is that um, Kerberos uh, SSO extension um, that says WelshGeek.net, and those are the two domains. So that's uh, showing you that it's installed properly as well. So we come over to the key, we click sign in. And I'll enter my credential um, and uh, I'll sign in and it'll show that I've got access to the network. So we come across to my uh, command prompt. I can say K list uh, 1234, 1234. I got that. Um, I got that ticket. Okay, so um, that's all set up and running. Um, the one thing that's uh, worth also being aware of, um, I've disabled MFA for this demo. I just want to show you Kerberos working. So um, this is my IP range, and if we go to ip.zscaler.com, um, it'll tell you I'm not going through Zscaler at the moment, and my IP address is within that range. So I'll only do Kerberos authentication. And the second thing um, that's, uh, that's important is for the client connector to send a user agent string for which Azure will send a Kerberos challenge. So uh, different servers are configured differently. They'll say, okay, if you've got user agent A, um, challenge for certificate authentication or NTLM or basic authentication for, for negotiate or Kerberos authentication. Um, we have to, the, the, the uh, web server, Azure AD SSO, um, needs to see a user agent for which it knows it will um, accept Kerberos challenges for. So we have to come into user agent here, update the global user agent. Um, so if I go in and I launch Zscaler now, um, Zscaler is installed with um, the user aid, uh, user domain, um, cloud name flags. Um, it'll go off and it'll authenticate transparently, um, automatically register and go off and uh, do everything it needs to do. Um, and so we're authenticated. Um, so if I come in here and do a K-list, you can see I got the Kerberos ticket there um, as part of the challenge. We click open here. Everything's signed in. Um, what I'll do also just to demonstrate that if I log out, I've successfully logged out, I'll come in here and I'll remove this uh, user agent string and click save. Oh, that's lovely. Not always the best demos.
let's take that out of the way and click save um, and uh, try and sign in again because we're not sending that user agent uh, we get prompted for, for username and password and that so the user agent is the key thing almost to make sure that um, that um, Azure correctly challenges sends that negotiate authentication and that we uh, we go ahead and, uh, and send that to uh, that properly. So let's go ahead and uh, drop that back in there. Click save. Um, and we'll come back here, open. We'll click log in. And we'll see the transparent authentication occurs again. So I um, uh, hope that's useful. Um, the enterprise Kerberos SSO authentication um, plugin from uh, deployed via Intune and giving us transparent authentication on OS X.